The vocoder is on the bench and I'm preparing to go from two channels, this is two frequency channels, to six channels as I prepare two more boards and four more of these plug-in uh, speech filter boards. But what I was concerned about and what I'm planning is how to do the daisy chaining of this ribbon cable. Now on here is 12 uh, volts and minus 12 volts and ground and also the two outputs which come from all of seven of these boards eventually but in this six channel test there will be these three boards. Now I put these connectors very close to the edge of the board which means that if I put the ribbon cable directly between these two connectors it would be very difficult to set that gap or I'd have to put the uh, cable connector on with incredible precision because the gap between this board and its neighbour board has to be a tenth of an inch and I just figured there wouldn't be enough I just couldn't clamp these on with enough precision so I thought well I'm going to have to go for some sort of loop back and so this is what I've created a loop which gives me a little bit of flexibility in the distance between two adjacent boards. It's not a problem with this connector because it's in the centre of the board, it's about two and a half inches away from the connector on the next board and you can put what I've done here is just a little bit of additional length in there so there's a little bit of flexibility there but that wouldn't have worked if I'd bridged straight across there so I've needed that loop and so what I've been trying to do today is work out the distance between uh, connectors on this cable, so I've done 2.9 inches there, uh, the distance between these two is 2.1 because these two 8 pin connectors are exactly 2 inches apart so I added 0.1 to give that little bit of uh, flexibility there. What I don't want is these to be exactly the right dimension and then they're slightly too tight and everything gets bent in and there's a lot of forcing going on and uh, yeah, if you've noticed that these are actually 10 pin connectors, a 10 way ribbon cable, but these are 8 pins. That's right, I completely got confused and I just ordered 10 pin, even though these are 8 pin. I just, I don't know what I came, came over me. But uh, anyway, I can work with the 10 pin cable, it just means 2 pins don't get used. And I can test this sort of offset and the spacing of all these connectors. So I'm going to need six of these connectors because there are two per board. Really the only reason for that is that signals come out of this chip on both sides and there isn't a place to put um, a single connector in the centre because it would be in the middle of that chip and that just isn't possible. So it ended up being two connectors uh, so the plus 12 volts for example that's on here enters this board at two points, the minus 12 also enters at two points. That means there are small sort of power and ground loops but they don't seem to cause a problem. So I'm just going to fit uh, the additional connectors, measure these distances between the connectors so that this is ready to daisy chain across three of these boards and that will mean that I can eventually do a six channel vocoder demo.